Hello guys and welcome back to Cobbler's Vlog. So I am recording this on Wednesday evening to hopefully for your faces to be live Thursday. Hopefully if I do edit it in time. So of course today it was announced about uh, Simon Tracy being sacked from his chief scout role and a lot of revamp going on behind the scenes at the club. So we're going to talk about it in this video. Again, like I said, when the season's done after Sunderland, me and Matt will sat, we sit down and do separate videos and kind of how the season went and stuff like that. So full season review. Uh, but we're going to talk about today because it's a big change for the Cobblers, sacking their chief scout, kind of revamping the club, um, looking at Graham Carr, we're looking at, you know, the new head of recruitment soon to be appointed, you know, the link between the first team and the recruitment team, to hopefully what happened this season to not happen again really in terms of poor recruitment. So we'll talk about it in this video and basically just give a summary of what I think and basically what's going to happen for the future. So then, if you haven't seen the chairman's interview, I suggest you watch it because it really gives a kind of an update on the club, you know, there's so much talking about them investing in the training ground. So it looks like Morton College will be the training ground now, uh, looking at investing in a few other bits and bobs. So I suggest you just watch it. It's about 25 minutes long, but it's a decent kind of look at what's going on behind the scenes. Of course, the day the Chief Scout Simon Tracy did get sacked uh, from his role. Um, there was kind of talk about maybe the recruitment not being good this season. It really hasn't. Uh, we lost a lot of key players in the summer. Um, and big change and some of them haven't really stepped to the plate you know we signed a lot of kind of league two conference players and hope they would step up to league one and they just haven't you know we lost charlie good okay fair play because we we're never going to keep hold of him but we lost for day and oliver and replacing him with joe nuttall um you know that kind of balance and we you know recruitment's been really poor this season like i said me and matt will talk about it come the end of the season um, more in depth but um of course, Simon Tracy did leave, um, and they're basically kind of creating a new model at the Cobblers, which will involve Ian Sampson, Graham Carr, the manager, the new head of recruitment, James Whiting, and of course, uh, Kelvin Thomas as well. In terms of the recruitment body, which hopefully does seem uh, the better way of doing it. I think Simon Tracy did okay in terms of recruitment. I think last season, you know, he would have done fantastically well in terms of recruitment. This season, not so good. Um, and I think it's important that the manager gets to say in it as well. I don't think it's um I think it's unfair if the manager doesn't get to say in it. You know, at the end of the day, he is the manager and he's taking charge. And I think um you know the recruitment wasn't good enough this season in terms of like losing key players. The way Keith Cole likes players who football and stuff like that, and we didn't have the hoof ball hoof ball football players really for it. Um, I think the January signings were good, um, but hopefully this kind of structure will be really good next season. I think it's, uh, you know, it's important that we try and bounce back from this and have a whole structure. And I do think this structure is going to work. You know, we're looking at you know club legends really, um, but having that balance as well with the manager. So you know whether you know whether John Brady gets the job or someone else gets it, it's about having that connection with them um, and kind of deciding together. And, and if we do go back up, it's about kind of trying to keep them players, but also trying to recruit as well stronger to stay in league on because that's what we are at the moment we're always that yo-yo team we get up we go down we get up we go down kind of thing so we need to try and stay in league one of course that's the main aim but i do like this idea about this structural change at the club um you know creating this kind of committee um and i think it's a good idea uh going moving forward i do think uh you know it, it will help um because i just feel like sometimes the signings weren't that good and now as a group they've got no real excuse um you know they're all going to decide together and like i said the equipment this season has been really poor so hopefully this is a good step in the right direction so of course a lot of things depend on the you know the playing style you know we saw keith curl being a route one kind of player uh manager sorry uh, we saw john brady kind of playing a four back and uh you know, playing a lot different to a hoofing ball. Um, so maybe, you know, it just looked like he kind of made it clear that there's going to be a new philosophy at the club going through the Cobblers to the under-18s, uh, sorry, the first team back to the under-18s. I think that's important. I think the philosophy needs to be good. And I'm hoping the manager we do appoint, uh, which apparently will be coming up in the next couple of weeks to basically kind of settle in and get the job done for next season, start early, needs to be here for a few years to kind of put the stamp in it and I did think Keith Carr was going to be that man um, so hopefully we can get someone in who's going to be here long term and uh, as well like I said um, it did say in the interview so I'm just seeing Jake Sharp on Twitter he works for BBC Red in Northampton they confirmed £75,000 is being spent on upgrading the training facilities which will be the permanent training place a decision will be made and announced next week in terms of the new manager and um, just to start off with the summer and I think that's really good because we haven't really had a training ground I still don't think Bottom College is the best but at least it's something, you know, we shouldn't train on the pitch. You know, the pitch has been really poor um, and it does look like the pitch is going to get sorted as well um, in time for next season. But yeah, like I said, the training ground, all teams need to have a training ground. We haven't had that. So I'm glad we kind of got that training ground sorted. And, you know, it, 
like I said, it's, I think it's going to be a really big summer, you know, in terms of recruitment, uh, in terms of a new manager, in terms of a new philosophy at the club. It's going to be a big change in the summer for the Cobblers, and hopefully it's a step in the right direction because I don't want us to do a Notts County where we get down uh, into the conference and then kind of struggle to get out. Um, but I don't think we'll ever be in that position, but I am kind of really excited to see who we do appoint. If I'm being honest, it does seem like we are going to appoint John Brady, which is an interesting move. I, I, I think, in my opinion, the Cobblers are going to get John Brady. I don't think personally he is the right man for the job. Uh, I think he's done fantastically well, but I just think we should get someone else. But I, I just, it looks like John Brady is going to be the new manager. Um, I'm not sure as of yet, like I said, and it's still loads of speculating. Of course, it depends on Sunderland as well on Sunday, of course. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But it's good to see, you know, we're spending money um, and we're kind of changing, changing the structure of the club. And I think that's really important to us Cobblers fans that we have that kind of structure. And we, and Cobblers fans know as well. I'm glad that Kelvin Thomas has spoken so openly about it. There was a lot of criticism around him when he sat Keith Cohen. There was nothing. Um, until we beat Plymouth and then Brady got the job to the end of the season. But I'm glad he spoke about it and, and that's really good from the chairman. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad he does that. Um, you know, the fans deserve to know, we deserve to know and, and good on him. So then a lot of things going on, like I said, so much. Again, the interview really does uh, explain it really well. It does look like a lot of things going to happen in terms of transfers, uh, you know, the recruitment side of it. So hopefully it's a step in the right direction for next season. Like I said, me and Matt will review it, like I said, at the end of the season, the post-match stuff, a lot of content coming up for you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. As you can see the shirt behind me, of course, this video is in partnership with FanHub and I'm just trying to get this round. They did send me a shirt, um, lovely shirt, uh, fan hub. So again, if you are interested in signing up to the app, all the links will be in the description below. Like I said, if you keep an eye out on our Twitter, because there's a massive queue at the moment, me, me, me and Matt get exclusive codes as well. So me keep an eye out for that as well. Again, a massive thank you to all our patrons, Adam Page, Luke NTFC, Jason Rodhouse, and Mike Fuller. You guys are absolute legends for supporting the channel. If you are interested in supporting the channel, all the links will be in the description below. So much going on. Like I said, you'll have your uh, review against Sunderland on Sunday. I sadly can't do the review, so Matt is going to do the review. And like I said, so much content looking back at the season coming over. And we'll get a few fans on as well. So again, until next time, guys, stay safe and see you later. Bye-bye.